the rewind spring pulls the starter rope back into the starter after starting the engine. After years of use, the rewind spring will wear and eventually break. The spring will typically break at one of its ends, where it attaches to the pulley or the housing. This wear can be accelerated by using excessive force when pulling the starter rope, or if the starter rope is routinely pulled out to its full length. When the rewind spring breaks, it won't retract the rope back into the starter. Replacing the rewind spring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the starter assembly from the saw. Now I'll pull the rope from the starter and tie a knot in the center. Next I'll remove the rope from the top of the starter handle and untie the knot or just cut it off. I'll be careful to not lose the washer. Now I'll untie the knot that I tied in the center of the rope. And I'll allow the starter rope to retract all the way into the starter. Next, I'll remove the retaining ring in the center of the starter pulley. With the retaining ring removed, now I can remove the pulley from the starter. Now I have access to the starter spring. I'll go ahead and remove it. First I've removed the cover and now I'll remove the spring. I'll grab the spring with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it from the housing, allowing it to recoil. Now I can install the new spring assembly. I install it with the spring down into the housing and the plastic cover facing out. I'll place it into the housing and then snap the plastic tabs into the housing. Now I'll remove the rope from the starter pulley. Now I'll reinstall the pulley. I'll place it over the hub and then rotate it until it engages with the spring. Now secure the pulley with the retaining ring. Now I'll rotate the pulley clockwise, which will tension the spring. I'll rotate it until it won't rotate any longer. Once it stops, I'll turn it back counterclockwise until the hole for the starter rope on the pulley aligns with the hole in the housing. Now I'll insert the rope back through the pulley and through the hole in the housing.
I'll pull the rope all the way through until the knot fits into the pocket on the back of the pulley. Now, I'll tie another knot in the middle of the rope. And now I can reinstall the handle. I'll insert the rope through the handle, through the washer, and tie a knot. And now I can untie the knot in the center of the rope. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the starter onto the saw. I'll line it with the housing and then secure it with the screws. And that's all it takes to install a new rewind spring in your small engine starter. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.